Sounds about right. Snaps. Well, you are tuned in to Cards with Esther and Rachel. Yay! We're going to pick a card from any kind of game deck and we're going to talk about the topics. We're just going to live with it. We're going to roll with it. And today we have an M. Night Shyamalan plot twist. <laughs> Some goddamn peace and quiet. Ugh, I need that. And pretending to care. <laughs> oh, all things I do. All things. <laughs> what do you want to start with? Whichever one. Which, what is moving you right now? Um, well, some goddamn peace and quiet. I believe it. Which is actually, like, would be a flipping plot twist in my <laughs> life if I actually got some. I feel like I've been asking for some goddamn peace and quiet mm. for years. I don't know. I, I would be scared any. of the peace and quiet, though, because it's like every day is, like, not peace and quiet. And then those people that go on those, like, seven-day silent retreat shit, that well, would freak me out. I'm not trying to do that. I literally just want a vacation, like, alone. Like, and that's terrible, because my husband I and mean, kids, do you want to come? They have that seven-day quiet shit. I don't want to go on a quiet. I, they have, I physically am unable to be quiet for, like, seven days. That's I would legit. probably spontaneously combust. Like, I just would, like, just explode Let's book all this over the trip. place. And there's, you want to see it happen. It would be, be absolutely terrible. I would just be like combustion. bursting at the seams. There's you no would way. Be. Oh, There's no way. We would and get I would be like making, like, oh my God, in like five minutes. My like eyeballs mm. would be twitching. My Botox would wear off from like overuse. Right. There's no way. We would no be way. talking about all the motherfuckers and they're trying to get but peace no, we and wouldn't quiet. Even be talking. We would be like making these weird ass <laughs> eye twitches. Like I'd be like, all right, we can create a code before we go. Ooh. I'd be like, if my eye twitches like four times to the left, that means what? What the hell? Like, you know, there's no way. And, or if it, like, does, if I do four eye blinks to the right, can you believe that they, that she, like, looks like that? Like, I mean, like, what is she wearing? Right. I, there's no way. I would spontaneously combust. Like, that's too much quiet. Do you get to watch TV, though? No, because it makes no, noise. You like, what yeah. are you doing I, during those things? That's what I always wondered about those things. Do like, they just put you in, like, a coma? guide you? Uh, no, now you're, listen, like, I'll meditating, quote, unquote. Put, no, I'm not doing activities. Now, if they put me in an activity. Meditation like a coma, is not an activity. Listen, it is. It requires me to put on clothes and move somewhere and do something. Okay. okay. I, w- I would go if All it right. was like a coma. Okay. Like, and I didn't have to do anything. Like, I don't want to. I don't want to shower. I don't mm. want to shave. But mm. I don't want to also deal with myself not having to deal with that. Does that make sense? Okay. Like. Because if I know that I have to shower, like I haven't uh, showered and shaved, then I'm going to get like grossed out. Exactly. Does so, like, somebody come in? So somebody. So you like, want a nurse? Sleep. <laughs> yes. That is what I would like. I would like to visit that idea. <laughs> Where can I get that done? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere. Okay. <laughs> death. Apparently death. Death, yes. Death is the next step. I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> Jesus, do not take the wheel yet. I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, I'm not ready. Quiet then. scares me though. Like I don't always then listen, think about it. Are you it. ready to trade? Because I will glad you trade you three no, kids and obnoxious cause... husband and a cat that doesn't shut the hell up and a dog. <laughs> no, your cat is aggressive. My cat I is can't very aggressive. It's I do all have in a your face. needy dog, but all in your face all the time. <laughs> That's so like perfect. all the time. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> Two o'clock on the dot until three, and they get home. And doesn't Awful. shut up. Yes. Whole and hour. it's loud. It's really loud. Remember I showed you when I was finishing my master's and I had mm-hmm. to like throw that thing at the cat in yes. the middle of that video? <laughs> and I was like, I don't even care. I'm not recording, re-recording this. Like somebody's just going to have to watch me Fuck do it. this. And I was like, whatever. I'm done. So yeah, some peace and quiet. I would mm. love it. I don't know. Love. I don't know. It's freaky. I just have to sit with myself. I don't like really? that. Well, next time I need to go out of town, okay. Esther, well, I'll make sure <laughs> that you can come over and watch those three damn kids. The cat, the dog, <laughs> and everything. By the way, I got I actually do have a trip in October mm-hmm. that my mom may bail on, that oh. Nate may be away for. So I'll keep you in mind. You put the kids keep on the bus. Mind. You just stay over there. You're good. You and Andre. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> we'll think about it. Uh, that's a, that sounds like a solid yes. Sounds like a yes. 
You make this Korean oh beef, it'll be good. <laughs> Thanks, Esther. <laughs> mm-hmm. Have you had any crazy plot twists in your life? <laughs> My whole damn life. <laughs> <laughs> Name one that's not. Um, yeah, let me think. <laughs> Any the village in your life where the monsters aren't real? <laughs> <laughs> oh. That movie was god awful. It had the potential to be beautiful, <sighs> right? It really and did. And then it was just fucking disappointing. Every time I watch an M Night Shyamalan movie, though, I'm always so hopeful mm. that it's going to go so well, and mm. then he just. Like bamboozles it, it at the end. <laughs> it's like I'm like except for signs. Uh, I loved signs. Uh, yeah, I could signs watch signs. Was not terrible. Oh, yeah. What was the one? The lady in the water. I actually didn't see that one. I you forgot didn't? about that one. Did you watch that one, Theo? And yeah. then did he do? Was it the mist? Did he do that one? Do we remember that one? I'd have to Google this. That would require effort on my part, and I'm just too damn lazy. <laughs> So, yeah, I've had some plot twists in my oh, life. Oh, the TV show The Mist, right? He, I think he was on no, that one. No, what's it? The, the one with the air with Mark Wahlberg where they couldn't breathe the air oh and it kept chasing God. them. Oh, my God. And then I was like, what the hell? That was, was Zoe so stupid. Zoe Deschanel. What was it? Zoe Deschanel. Oh, uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah, she always has very thick bangs, <laughs> which I've always wanted, like, thick bangs, but I have, like, this horrible <laughs> calic in the middle and a very short forehead, so Ugh. it just doesn't work for me. It's just, like, Makes paired me, like, that 12. with her big blue eyes, it's just like, oh, my God. Oh, stop. Right. The, the Happening. The Happening. Uh, you know what? I have that movie. I don't know why. I have it, though. Did you not watch it? I did. <laughs> Clearly, it was forgettable. In Night Shyamalan <laughs> plot twist, your movies are forgettable. Forgettable. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let me see. I'm trying to think of some plot twists in my life. I mean, pretty much my whole life has been a plot twist. Like, I really thought that, like, you know, by the time I was a certain age, I was going to be doing something. Ha mm-hmm. <laughs> joke's on you. That shit didn't happen. Yeah. Like, I thought for sure, like, you know, um, I didn't think I'd have, like, three kids back to back. Joke's on me. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> that didn't happen. I thought I was done with two kids. Twist. I ended up pregnant with an IUD and plot twist. That happened. Mm. You know, um. I don't know. Like, all of these random plot twists. I think it's what keeps life interesting, though. Right. But sometimes I'm like, for real, one more damn thing. I swear to God, <laughs> I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it just like our security guard uh, did and shot oh, up that McDonald's my, over the cold fry. That was her security guard. Yes. <laughs> yes, it was our fries. security guard. Cold, <clears throat> that's a fucking plot twist. That is a plot twist. she know... I don't she think she walked in there and like, she was you know like, what? if I get what? one more cold fry, it's I'm going to fuck somebody up. <laughs> it's oh, Thursday. I can't do it anymore. <gasps> let, let me get a cold fry. Pop, pop, pop. Let me I can't have do one it. more bitch try me. Right? She, she was fucking just dead. Dead. Like, Oh, man. Like I said, though, in her defense, I mean, I've been there. Okay. I've been there. I just don't have weapons. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Which helps. Right, which is really, really helpful. I mean, and, like, I mean, like I told you, she was lucky she even got cold fries. Because we've all been, if you've been to that McDonald's, you lucky you got served an all dog. I know, we have like, always such high hopes for McDonald's. And then we always get let down. Like, I've had a completely different fucking order. I'm like, what the fuck is this shit? And guess what? I still ate it, though. I mean. I'm hungry. I came because I'm hungry, no, god damn it. I, no, I want, no. I, like, I'm going to eat the shit you give me. I'm I not going to be happy. I am, they, I am that person that they always, always fuck up my order forever. <laughs> like, in one time, I'll never forget, we had gone to Taco Bell and somebody had uh, ordered something the ridiculous. <laughs> the squirt, no. I have that great story. I'll have to tell that one in a minute about my dad and the Pooh Mobile. But uh, no. Yes. Uh, so, we had gone to Taco Bell and it was in Hawaii and it was with the kids or whatever and they had screwed up my order and everybody else's shit had gotten right. And it was like, they had just loaded on the tomatoes. So, I don't like tomatoes. Okay? Uh, and you know how hard it is to pick off some tomatoes right so no. i'm looking at this bag and of are course, they chopped made, tomatoes yes they were chopped and they were like just just they just like made the whole damn everything out of tomatoes it was like they should have just <laughs> it was like it should have called it tomato, tomato. bell and i was just so <laughs> mad 
And I was just losing my shit because I apparently have anger issues. Yeah. But I, like, literally was like, I can't take it. And it was, like, the fifth time they had screwed up, like, something of my stuff. And ever and Nate always <laughs> makes me eat a shit sandwich. And I, that day I was not eating this shit taco. So I, like, just whipped this bag of Taco Bell in the back. And, of course, you know, I got my kids in the back. And I'm being, like, the worst mom ever. And it just, my, <laughs> this bag of tacos just wallops Naomi in her arm. Oh. And, of course, Nate is like, I can't believe that you just threw this bag of tacos because there's some tomatoes on it. And I was like, well, everybody else gets their order. All I wanted was a stupid taco with no tomatoes. And he was like, well, you can eat my burrito. And I was like, I don't want a burrito. <laughs> and all of this is over a freaking taco. Like, I look at the long run of, like, right. things. Like I the, eat shit. You know like, what? I Sometimes was where just want that lady was with that cold fry mm, over right. this t- these tomatoes. Plot twist, because like who thought you would so, get it so irate over food? But I don't know. Food is sacred, though. Like don't it fuck is. with everything else. But food, like bitch, I came here because I'm hungry. Right. Right. I'm hungry. I mean, I'm hangry. I don't think I probably hadn't eaten that day. And mm-hmm. then you put the tomatoes on it. I told Nate to check it. Nate, of course, doesn't listen. And then there's tomatoes <laughs> everywhere. And I just lost my crap. What? So plot twist involving tacos again. <sighs> so my dad was in the military. He ended up doing like 22, 23 years um, as a pilot. And he comes home from Iraq on like r and And... We go, we were living in Arizona at the time, and we decide to go hiking, and... Because <laughs> what else do you do Right, Arizona? right. I mean, like, it, was, it was really what? pretty. So we mm-hmm. lived in Phoenix, and we were driving up to, like, Sedona, and we stop at one of those joint, like, it was a Taco Bell um, Pizza Hut place. <laughs> and I look at my dad, and all my Ugh. family is ordering, like, all of this Taco Bell, and I <laughs> know that we're going hiking, so I decide Ugh. to play it safe. And I order breadsticks. And I look at my dad and I say, hey, um, you know, you probably shouldn't order all of that. And you definitely shouldn't go with that fire sauce because you don't get that (laughs) flame in the anus. Like, you know what happened. He was like, don't worry about me. I can handle myself, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, (laughs) He's like, I eat M-E-R or E-R. Right. Like, Um, I'll shit anything out. Oh, well, wait for it. So, plot twist. So, I'm just like, okay, well, whatever. Because, you know, and I'm the only one in my family being smart. Everybody Mm -hmm. else is like, got the fire sauce. They're like, make it extra spicy. And I'm like, y'all are dumb as hell. (laughs) So, we drive up there, and um, Bush happened to be president. Yeah, I'm dating myself. I'm old. Um, But in... Which Bush? Okay. Uh-huh. That is uh-huh. the question. Someone's got jokes. Because but I first was... off, I was alive when both president, uh, both Bushes were presidents, and I was equally as angry over both of them. But it was <laughs> George W. Okay. Because he was, um, my dad was in Iraq for the war. Right. So, um, the, oh, jeez. Operation Iraqi Freedom, Ugh. not the Gulf war yeah right i guess i had to specify because he had been in that long and i am <laughs> that old sad, 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 sad. Per- focus anyway so we had gone we were driving up and my mom starts in because she's very liberal my dad you know is kind of more conservative and of course my brother is there and my younger brother is there i've got two younger brothers and joel's two and a half years younger than me so he kind of starts giving him a hard time and i'm just laughing along you know and my dad is clearly getting very upset over this, you know, because he's still serving. But also, I think, because he might have to use the bathroom days tonight. <laughs> so we stop at this gas station. My dad goes and gets the next thing on the no-no list. He goes and gets a cappuccino, a.k.a. the oh. crappuccino, <laughs> is what we like to call it. So everyone gets out, and we go all use the bathroom. Mm-hmm. And then we drive out. And except for my dad, who doesn't go and use the bathroom for whatever reason, he's I don't like, know what's going wait, on. wait, I got this. Right. He's got this. I got an iron so stomach. He thinks. <laughs> Little does he know. <laughs> it's all about to go downhill. <laughs> literally downhill soon. So we get out and we go to the scenic lookout. And we're like the only ones there. Um, and we all start kind of walking around. And Joel and that's my brother and Dylan, my other brother, we all go walking together, and my mom and dad go off by themselves, whatever, and we're only there like five, maybe ten minutes, and my mom (laughs) yells to us, she's like, Rachel, Joel, and Dylan, we gotta go, 
And I'm like, what the hell? We just got here. And she's like, well, your dad's got to use the bathroom. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what the? So <clears throat> what do you think that conversation up. was? He was like, look, I gotta- <laughs> I'm not a shit, a brick. <laughs> I think it was, my dad is pretty like, he probably was like, wet farting and my mom was like Randy, Ew. Randy oh my god, Randy. I can't, what is wrong with you, you need to go to the bathroom and then he was like, well I probably actually do so, you know, I don't well, what, go tell the kids I gotta go and then she, cause my mom does her own thing, so then what happens next, she yells at us, so then we go up with my mom and she starts walking in the opposite direction of the car, so we follow her and I'm like, hey mom, doesn't dad need to go to the bathroom, she's like, yeah well you know, whatever, and that's her <laughs> attitude towards us so we follow her so like 10 minutes later we go back to the car and the car is there that's some but, quality shit time 10 minutes that is right, quality right but my that's dad that's some peace and quiet shit time. Did, possibly but it's about to get interrupted but my dad is missing right so then my brother joel who is always on top of things all matter shit because mm. <laughs> he has pooped his pants himself multiple times. Like just bust him out. No, like he literally shit his pants like twice in like high school. <laughs> like he's gross like that. He's gross. <laughs> we may have to change his name for identification <laughs> oh, purposes. Oh you said it. Oh you said it. His name is Joey. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> Show it. Uh, anyway, so Joey uh, goes <laughs> and he notices that my dad's stash of baby wipes, apparently, like, bathroom things are an issue in my family. I'm not really sure what their problem is. Guys, stop pushing so hard. You shouldn't push. Like, that's the answer. Just okay? Let Just it stop flow. it. So he's like, oh, dad's dad's pooping somewhere and i'm like oh my god so of course i'm doubled over with laughter my mom is like oh my god i cannot deal with this so she gets in the car because now she realizes that this is about to be embarrassing (laughs) and so then dylan's really young because he's got to be like 10 or 11 or something maybe 12 and he's like not quite putting it together because he's kind of slow so and and i say that with love but he's like it takes him a minute and he's like oh Oh, geez, he guess he is. You know, he's just special. <laughs> <laughs> and I say it so with love. Special. He just is special. Dylan, <laughs> Dylan just, he's like the my, the nicest, most fun-loving kid ever. But anyway, so it takes him a minute to put it together. And then once he does, he starts laughing. So then Joel starts yelling mm-hmm. for my dad. And <laughs> he just starts, like, yelling, Dad, we know you're here. Come out, come out, wherever you poop. And I'm like, oh, my God. Thank God we're the like only ones, weird, like, here. Like scary movie. Yes. Like. <laughs> and so there's, like, a parking lot with the overlook. And then behind the parking lot is, like, this big hill with, like, trees and stuff up mm-hmm. there. And so I'm just, like, after, like, five minutes, I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what like he's got the keys it's like you know 65 i'm ready to go mm-hmm. like somebody needs to find him yeah and we're all like not it you know <laughs> and so then we hear hey and we all turn and look and at the top of the hill is my dad <laughs> in his hiking boots with a sweatshirt wrapped around his waist <laughs> he has <that> no pants. <laughs> white thighs it's like a sweatshirt <laughs> mini skirt yeah. but it's like a mini skirt apron because <laughs> it's, it's buttless and we're all like oh so what? he covered his front yes, like he's he has his no junk. underwear he has uh, no pants <laughs> nothing just bare ass he's bare ass and he's got on boots <laughs> i like, guess the wipes weren't enough <laughs> no so we're like uh we see him and we just start laughing but but at this point like you know we're like what the hell and so he's like somebody bring me an extra sweatshirt and so Joel and I obviously can't because we're on the ground crying and holding ourselves to keep ourselves from pissing all over ourselves because we're just dying with laughter so of course Dylan because he's the sweetest out of all of us goes and delivers Aww. my dad this extra sweatshirt to cover the meeks to cover all of the pieces so as my dad's 
starts down this mountain after he's properly covered his bare ass, this giant <laughs> tour bus full of like German tourists pulls in and they're awesome. taking pictures of this mountain man coming down this mountain, right? <laughs> So, <laughs> Joel and I are still outside in the vehicle, just dying. My mom is inside, like, oh, my God, I cannot believe he, why, why are his pants? What the hell happened? <laughs> blah, 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 blah. This is embarrassing. I cannot, he, he's going to wreck my trip. Blah, blah, blah. And so, we're just like, oh, my God, I cannot get it together. So, like, we get, he gets in the car, and instantly, there is the smell of baby shit. It smells oh, straight up like baby shit. Like, he <laughs> rolled around in baby shit. Do you think in any of those pictures of your dad is somewhere on the internet. Like I, we I, should ho- I try wish to find send us those pictures of a man point. with now, two Dylan, sh- sweatshirts around his waist. Oh my god, please! Send if it. Someone, and now I will tell you the yellow. The yellow. It is a yellow like sweatshirt in the front. Okay. I did think it might say Michigan. Like on where it. are those pictures? Where are those pictures? Ah. Now Dylan does have one picture of it, so I'll have to find ah. it and get it because yes. it is the we'll best have to picture. Post it. That oh, was for hilarious. sure, for sure, it is ridiculous. So he gets in the vehicle because we're not done yet because there's a second plot twist. <laughs> so he gets in the vehicle and we have to roll. By now it's like 55 degrees because mm-hmm. the sun's starting Ugh. to set. And Worse. we have to roll down the windows because it smells like baby shit. So we've all got like our heads out the window, except for poor Dylan, like some dog, because, you know, we're, we're like dying. But this is not going to wreck my mom's hiking trip. Mm-hmm. If anyone's met my mom. This oh, man. Not, this, you're not wrecking my hiking trip, Brandy. We're going to go get you some pants and blah, 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 blah. There's an outlet right up the street. So she uh, literally uh, drives to the, makes him drive to the outlet in his <laughs> shitty sweatshirt skirts. <laughs> buys him underwear and all this other stuff oh. but she's in there dicking around the entire time we must have been in that outlet for 45 minutes because <laughs> she's busy him shopping and the yes while he's in like the the truck with his shitty balls to the wind <laughs> yes, balls to the baby wind shit in the, the air baby shit with the windows all rolled down my <laughs> dylan is in there just dying and slowly suffocating because of course dylan is no the, he left he got left no, Dylan is in there. Dylan's in the truck with him. Why? Because Dylan is the sweetest. I told you, Dylan is the nicest out of all like, of us. I'll Joel and I you. are a-holes. Oh. Joey and I are a-holes. Dylan is real sweet. <laughs> so, um, you know, but Joel, Joey and I go into the <laughs> store, and we're my mom actually leaves us because we were shopping, what? and so she left us there. And, of course, this is, like, really before cell phones. So we're, oh, like, we're standing outside, and we're like, what the so she just fuck. left us. So, of course, they come back. So my dad has to sneak back into the same gas station where he refused to go, by uh. the way, and bought the crap a chino <laughs> and his sweatshirt skirt, his sweatshirt man skirt kilt, whatever outfit he has composed at this point, go oh, wash man. himself up as best as he can and go from there. How did that happen? Do you think I he put his know. yeeks to the sink? I'm hoping <laughs> just he did. Flashed it. So we later found out because spread then, it out, but let I it run. don't know because when he got back in, it still smelled like baby shit. Oh he, no! So what? That he did, he wasn't man happened. enough to put the meeks on the seat. So I guess he had gone up there to unleash the devil. Is what he basically oh, said. Uh. Because of course he ate the fire sauce like i told him <laughs> so not there's to. some leftover then he, then he drank there's the a vengeance. frappuccino <laughs> like i said this was not a good idea and those two things mixed together to cause a volcanic asian like <laughs> asshole explosion oh man flaming anus and so he went up there but because it had rained he was leaning up against a tree but i guess the pressure from everything was just too much and his foot slipped and he fell in it and that is what caused the entire situation oh, no. so then he was forced to make do with everything which is why he came down with no pants and like just, just a like, this is it. skirt this is me so long story short we did not go hiking it oh. did wreck my mom's hiking trip we drove back and with all of our heads out the window they sold the truck less than a month and a half two Just months later because like it smelled like baby shit we oh. called it the poo mobile every time we, we could not get the smell
smell out. How did it's you not sell like the pool mobile. Was because there like a they, bunch like, of little fresheners yes, and shit? Yes, like my parents got it detailed like two to three times uh, and oh sold it the God. day that it got detailed. Like mm. they had to trade it in because it smelled like poo. That's the way to do it. Like that's what's Be like, up. Look, you don't know what's happening, but guess what? <laughs> <laughs> that shit is literally Pumobile. sits in your lot. So, <laughs> plot twist for whoever bought the Pumobile. I don't think you ever got that smell out, and I am so sorry. So sorry. <laughs> Not. <laughs> <laughs> Not. Oh, pretending to care. Boom. I did not care. About don't care that. that you got that shit mobile. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh. I feel like most of us do this every day, pretend to care, like oh at our God. job. Especially at work. Like, right? This old bitch has nothing else to do with her life but gossip. And I have to be like, uh uh-huh, uh-huh, Stop uh-huh, talking uh-huh, about uh-huh. me. <laughs> 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 bitch. <laughs> No, I'm your gossip right would here. actually be good. Like, her yeah. shit is just like, shit, I already know. Like, yeah, bitch, okay, get the fuck back to your desk. I don't care. So I have, like, Stop. two sayings when I pretend to care. Um, I'm always like, yeah, sure, no problem. Mm-hmm. And that's really what I mean when I'm like, oh, my God, oh my God fuck, fuck you. Oh, fuck off. And I'm like, yeah, sure. And I do it with, like, the fakest cheerleader <laughs> smile ever. And okay. then, ready? Okay. And then my favorite, we all know, which is, like, E4D. And, like, I have that, like, put on all my stuff. And when people ask me, they're always like, what does that mean? And I'm like, oh, excellence, four times daily. That is not what that means. That means eat four dicks. And I mean it four. all day every day four of them. and it just makes me feel better to look at it so mm-hmm. that's what I put it on I but yeah it. I pretend <laughs> to care all the time sometimes I really do care and you can tell because I get so bent out of shape yeah but most of the time I'm like oh, oh really no my face. I don't like I'm just so busy not caring <laughs> like I don't have time for this legit like that's like online trolls I don't understand Ugh. like how the fuck you have nothing else to do with your life but to care about this one little fucking topic that nobody else cares about your little comment especially under like celebrity shit who the fuck cares what you say about the celebrity this bitch is making an ass of fucking money you just sitting there broke as fuck in a single a if, singlet apartment ex- if they're lucky most of them <laughs> if are you're not. lucky they're probably you're still in your mom's basement if they're lucky or like all attic, of them it's depending something. on where you live or the same bedroom <laughs> they've had since they were like five yeah i mean if they took <laughs> all of that energy even just maybe even like all of it w- one iota of the energy that they thought like thinking up that burner insult and put mm. it in as something positive like how much <laughs> better would the world be how much? like even if it was just positive into themselves <laughs> like i wouldn't even care if you didn't give it back like yeah take a moment because you've got to feel pretty nasty if you got to do that exactly. all the time exactly <clears throat> like what the fuck i wish i had that energy to like care to comment on people's shit right. online because i watch a lot of shit right i like roll through some uh instagram oh me too but do i comment no because i'm a thug no. in real life i'm not an internet thug <laughs> like that's what's exactly. up i'm not a keyboard gangster yeah. i'm a thug in real life like, i'll show up at your door and be like yes and they'll hey, open bitch. the door and they'll be like 911 <laughs> i'll be like yeah you better get them here you're gonna Sledge. need a police escort i'm not like the quote unquote <clears throat> president who's an online troll and then you ask no. him face to face and he's like, Oh my god. No, but you're I didn't a great mean person. that. I didn't mean that. Blah blah blah. See, I can't stand that. Like I and feel like dad. if you're able to say it on the internet, you damn yeah. well better be able to say it to someone. Oh, uh, you face. better back that shit up. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I will say whatever I need to to somebody's mm-hmm. face and I'll put it in print too. Those like, are that's like those assholes that cat called us. It was like <laughs> oh uh <laughs> he was like, "Oh no, wait!" They asked I, if was, if uh, we were looking or if we were single, and I said, "We're all married." Is and what he I was said. like, "Who would marry you?" And I was like, "Who the fuck would marry you? Like, why'd they you were fucking so, ask if yeah, you were going to be a total douchebag?" They were legit scrubs because they were <sighs> hanging out the side of their best friend's ride. I legit. Uber. 
Yes. Trying to holler. Trying to holler. And that's why I was like, And I like, had to say bye. some despicable words in front of these white people trying to eat. And, you know, that's... They were... they were Their eyes were so big. I they couldn't like, look. <laughs> I could like, not look at them. I was just like, don't eat outside next time. <laughs> Fuck. It's Savannah. I was Stop like, it. Fuck you. Don't eat outside, them bitches. <laughs> and I was like... Watch out. Um, she got the whole craze. Oh, man. <laughs> Legit. Like, oh, my God. So much energy into that shit. And then, like, at work, you unfortunately have to pretend to care because you get paid to pretend. Some of us don't get paid enough, care. though. Uh, well, in we some definitely places, don't get paid enough. Some places, they don't even get paid to pretend to care. Exactly. Like, have you That's why that McDonald's gave that bitch the fucking the fries. fries. They were like, ma'am, pull up. <laughs> We're gonna give you hot Hello, fries, bitch. and then when they did it, you thought. I bet you though they don't tell people now that you'll get hot fries if you get no, cold fries. No, they just tell your ass like, to pull up. They like, just tell you to pull up, pull up. Uh, we're doing pull something. Up. We need yeah. more time. We need more time to f up your order <laughs> and or not fulfill your order properly. So that way you don't come in and shoot it's us like, up. Can you blame okay. them though? Because again, like they don't get paid enough. It's just like, man, I mean, but let how me slap much some should you get paid? Open. Okay, let's. I mean, because we could go there, like you, because you know <laughs> that I am not for like. The, I mean, I could get into arguments all day. I don't <laughs> think that minimum wage should get paid fifteen dollars an hour. Should the minimum wage be raised? Yes, to fifteen. No. Why and not? Let me, because there's this thing. All right. So the minimum, the minute you raise the minimum wage, everything else goes up. It's called the Big Mac effect. So, and it's a legit thing and I'm not disputing it, but our cost of living has not gone up or our cost of living has gone up, but our wages mm-hmm. have not increased. Mm-hmm. So they actually do need to increase, but I don't think minimum wage workers should get paid $15 an hour. I think they need to go up because if you do that, then you damn well better. A soldier doesn't even make that much mm-hmm. in E1 and they're fighting and dying for our country i have a big damn problem with that so like how much do they make a private yeah. maybe it's like 14.75 if that 13 damn, we 25 fucked up all around well that's what that's i'm trying bullshit. to say well that's my whole point though but see and if they're not gonna do like you should not be able to make more money at mcdonald's mm-hmm. than somebody who dies for a country I like that's point legit. blank period that's legit so like you gotta look at those pieces mm-hmm. so like that's where i'm like Mm-mm. and the reality is, is like I get that it's hard to live off a minimum wage, and not everybody is going to get a college degree mm-hmm. because not everyone needs a college degree. Mm-hmm. Like that's why we have tech schools and stuff. Right. But does it need to be fifteen? Not necessarily. Does the minimum wage need to go from seven twenty five to maybe ten? Hell yeah. <laughs> but fifteen? Come on now, dog. I don't know. I think it should be definitely fifteen because it's not just but we're the high schoolers. Paying. Well, then you're gonna pay we need to look at the government. For that damn burger. Well, that's the fucking government shit. They need to pay people as they should. But you know what? The burger always goes up every so often. Right, but sense. a value meal right but, now is like six bucks. But the uh, minimum wage doesn't go up. But that's what they keep saying. But I mean, how are you gonna afford? a cheap simple motherfucking thing for mcdonald's if you can't even afford your rent no i mean or, I like agree. the cost of living no right compared. so the cost of living has gone up significantly and our wages have not increased with it like and mm-hmm. that actually has to change and match mm-hmm. so and that's the problem but There's i think a huge definitely disparity. 15 would help it would it definitely would, but they're going they be would something have to because not only high schoolers work in those cost. shitty jobs it's like the older people no, that agree. fall through the cracks look a lot of the moms that utilize our services mm-hmm. where i work have those types of jobs right so i understand completely mm-hmm. but there would have to be a piece that would stop the cost of living from going up in order to make that raise effective and so far in the past like 30, 40 years, that hasn't been in place. So well, the government be. would have to do something to help hold the cost of living where the, it's at. Because nothing should go up. Because if you're not paying your workers, but you're making an ass of fucking money, like that's the problem is that the right. profits so the disparity are going up in it. The one percent. And so, oh, the <laughs> basic income. Well, yeah. Theon's bringing up the basic income yeah. for that. Um, Actually, a lot of that wasn't. Isn't there a city in California that's doing that? And there's some European countries. So they're supplementing the difference. Is that what you're saying? 
Well, they're giving you a amount every month. Yeah, to supplement yeah, the income. Yeah. So that's been brought up by some of our potential presidential candidates mm-hmm. um, as an option, mm-hmm. which would work. That would help adjust for the the potential the raising or the yeah, uh, the raising of every other yeah. piece that's going to mm-hmm. happen when they when we raise the cost of which living, I mean we got to look raised. at it now because one way or the other technology is just going to take over all of our jobs so we definitely need to look into basic income like all the people that are scared about Skynet and shit <laughs> Terminator shit Terminator 2 is the shit <laughs> but like legit we should be thinking about that because we're all losing our jobs like psh, you want to talk about the fucking coal miners and shit like that yeah you lost your job man but guess what there should be shit in place that will teach you new shit right and that's the whole point of getting into different centuries every year it's just changing 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 mm-hmm. you have to change with the times I don't want to be behind you in a fucking self-checkout in Walmart, and you don't know how to put your goddamn card in. Well, first off, <laughs> I am opposed to self-checkout 100%. I because fuck with self-checkout. That is my I mean, shoot. But the only reason we mess with self-checkout is because it's quicker most of the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah. at the end of the day, I don't get paid to check out my own crap. <laughs> like I need you. Like I have already put in mm-hmm. forty to fifty hours this week. I <laughs> have already walked through this hellhole looking for that damn one thing mm-hmm. that is not in the aisle that it says that it is. Because you put it at the end of the stupid ass kiosk. I asked four damn people that didn't know where it was at. They had on the stupid ass blue vest who had to make the phone call to the one person in the uh, department who wasn't there who had to be paged right. right? And now you want me to check out and bag my own shit with the bags that never. Yes, come bitch. open when I'm supposed <laughs> to open them? No. No. We'll and then I always buy something alcoholic or mm-hmm. something like that because at oh my this God, point. And then you have to wait for then them to Then I have to, to wait check. for them to ID me well, when I all okay. know. Well, first of all, they I wanted sh- to open the shit in the store and drink <laughs> it. Like, I'm at, no. I need you. And why is it? Did you know that, by the way, on a side note, that this uh. is the busiest Walmart on the eastern seaboard did uh, you know that which one? Oh no the one in pooler oh the one in pooler i bet which is it's asinine so busy. why why are there only five <laughs> lines ever open at any one given time because makes they me want to stab pay people. people right they so don't want to pay motherfuckers so you can do it yourself i'm opposed to it i can't take it, it makes me insane <laughs> i love sex self-checkout except for the camera that shows you how disgusting you look on that day <laughs> oh these ones don't have that thank oh, god well yeah these ones have a camera that show you what you look yeah, like yeah they like they're no. watching you scan shit so in case oh, well, you try to roll up i'm sorry boo and that's... devo shit they're like nah bitch we got you on disgusting camera here's no. your fat ass not scanning well that and then shit. sam's just put in a bunch of self checkouts too mm-hmm. you ever try to oh, lug sam's. a 50 th- or 50 pound bag of dog food well of course not you got like a what does he baby. weigh like five eight 15 well, 15, 15 yeah okay yeah. no this was a 50 pound bag uh, of dog food that you I don't transfer. lug you they Why have that ch- um, right, well, I used portable the scanner, scanner. But then I realized that I made the fatal mistake and was using. Mm. I switched all the groceries to one other cart that was at the end. Uh huh. So then the only thing left in my one cart How was many carts dog food. Did you have? I've got a family of five, Esther. What the fuck? Oh my god. There's I don't a know lot what of that's food like going anymore. on. <laughs> There's a lot of food going on. Everyone should just eat the 50 pound bag of dog food and then I would only have to buy one Shit thing. Shit, legit. Just maybe pour, I, pour some milk. What if I like, just cereal. mash it up and call it mashed potatoes? <laughs> just like I buy mean, bread and cheese food, and put right? it. By, I mean, fuck it. You know, it's a whole they, food. I right? mean, if it's nutrients. I mean, it says it's got all of these things in it. <laughs> all the essential nutrients. I'm gonna you give need. it to him and see what happens. I'm just playing. Nobody calls CPS. My name's Esther. <laughs> <laughs> They'd be very disappointed. <laughs> Ain't no fucking kids. Yeah, they just, like, they just, she just fed her dog a bunch of dog food, mashed potatoes. Oh man, he loved she it. She did. <laughs> He's a dick. He'll eat anything. Yeah, <laughs> and guess what? I don't care. 
<laughs> I wish kids were like that, where they would eat anything. <sighs> it's almost at the point where, like, Nate said to me the other day, he was like, I'm not going to make them meals anymore. And I said, okay. Well, are you going to make them then? He said he's just going to look at them and say, fend for yourselves, because he's sick of them not eating vegetables. That's such a shit. My mom was like, here's all this frozen food shit, bitch. You know how to put two minutes in the microwave? Good for you. I mean... I, well, she was working a lot. Right. Get, well, she was a single mom. But it was like, yo, fam, well, he, not going to be he home. He keeps trying to force feed them, like, <sighs> butter beans and, like, asparagus Ew. and stuff. I love and asparagus. here's the thing. I like, can't do beans. They'll, I mean, I like asparagus, too. But they're kids. Mm-hmm. And they like salmon. They don't give okay? a fuck. But they're not really trying to expand their They're not trying to go vegetarian. <laughs> vegetarian. Like, I mean, get over your shit, dog. They just want chicken he nuggets and french fries. Right. I mean, like, well, they'll eat, like, meat. They'll eat grilled mm-hmm. meat. They'll try different things. But they're not really going to be your massive vegetable eater. Right. Sorry, dog. I fucked it up. I gave them fruit first when we did baby <laughs> food. I guess that was where I screwed up. The I didn't know. The fruit is the know. best baby food. Like, right, that other baby food but I tried with the peas I tried peas after I realized I'd screwed up with Naomi and I've tried other ones like when when I started you know when they were babies Uh, but here's the deal they don't really like them that much stop wasting money and food trying to force feed them then I got kids fake freaking barfing (laughs) no I'm not even kidding barf a cup fake barf on her plate because she had to eat some like it was like cauliflower peas and like corn (laughs) mix and I was like all right just and he and then worry like doused it in ketchup and it looked like a bloody like that's what Theon said and I was just like this is just ridiculous Like, like I Let moved in with my mom when I was five, and I knew had no concept of Korean food because I had good old white country shit <laughs> from Rehaw. one to five. And then I moved in with my mom, who's straight up Korean ass shit, cuts green fucking onions the size of your goddamn finger and it's like here in soup and she's like eat this shit and I'm gagging and she's but, like you better but, eat that but, shit like every Asian right. mom. Like, I remember David threw away some food. That bitch got a spoonful out of the trash can, made him eat it. (laughs) Asian mom shit, y'all know. (laughs) Like, it was just like, bitch, you better not wait. So my dad was like that. My dad was like that with my brothers and I. So he would like, he one time made Spanish rice, and I'm using the quotes here. What is that? And he put no. It Did was he just ketchup. put tomato? No, oh, he okay. put ketchup on white rice, and I was like, uh, I am not <laughs> eating this. And like, I threw this huge fit, got grounded, but he like thumped Joel, like right Joey, right off the table, <laughs> and like just walloped him. Oh and I'm God. like, and Joel would sit there and fall asleep in his like food because like he would not eat some of it. And I'm like. There are just certain battles, and like looking back and what we know yeah. about like child development, I was right. like, this is so unhealthy. I mean, just like you just need to stop. Exactly, That's it's not like, that big of a deal. One, stop wasting your money. Yeah, stop getting mad because I know yep. as a parent you were mad as hell. Because yep. as a parent now, when my kids <laughs> don't do stuff, I'm just mad. I'm like, how dare you defy me? I'll be damned. Exactly. Like, stop. Like pick your battles. Like, mm-hmm. you got to pick ones you're going to know you're going to win. Because when it comes to trying to make a kid eat a food they do not yeah, want, just, those just kids have got okay. willpower. Like, Fuck it. I will tell you what, if you made an army of kids who, like, don't like Brussels sprouts, mm-hmm. they will defeat anybody. <laughs> you need to find ISIS and uh, get them out. Put those kids and tell them they got to eat Brussels sprouts for the right. rest of their life. They find all of the ISIS members. Done. <laughs> Done. They're like, hell no. We are not eating Brussels sprouts. Because the sprouts. determination of mm-hmm. kids who do not want to eat something exactly. they will stand there forever exactly done. i love watching the videos of the kids like crying right. mm-hmm. and like just blah no i mean look i hate olives and i remember being like seven years old and throwing up like an, a whole olive in my water glass like, blah, blah, blah. and my mom like, was like why really? parents want to see that just right. like you know what just don't eat it fuck it just and get away from the would table still now. be like you need to eat the olives exactly. and guess what like, no. i still don't eat the olives <laughs> i still pick them off from everything in fact what? didn't like didn't we flick olives i think didn't we did olives off of the pizza was that a plot twist 
Yeah, because didn't we? Because it, it was, you flicked it on some bitch. Well, first of all, I wasn't supposed to be eating street pizza. <laughs> you, were, you were eating street pizza from randoms, random childrens. Were they children? They were children. I thought they were legal. Eh. I may have almost. They were borderline. A, they were borderline. <laughs> <laughs> I was very hungry one day, one night, one morning, Drunk. early, early one morning. I was had the drunchies and. There was some street pizza, but they put olives on it. So I didn't like olives. So in my plot twist, which everyone should have seen this coming, I flicked the olives off. But then I flicked one in a girl's braid. Oh, yeah. And it was almost a calamity. But thank goodness I was a very fast talker. And my friends were like, oh, my God, she didn't mean that. She didn't mean that. She's drunk. And I was really, I did feel really bad. I didn't mean to. She happened to walk right as I flicked. I mean, and then yeah. her braid caught I mean, my olive. You, I mean, she was in the corner of Sweet Melissa's. You should know. You're getting some sh- something flicked on you. I Me mean, and Nick she was lucky it was an olive. There. Exactly. Me and Nick <laughs> got pepper sprayed around that area. So, right. I mean, shit. An olive, whatever, bitch. I mean, it was pretending just pretending to care. I did, but well, I did really pretend to care when I apologized to her because right. I really wasn't like, sorry. Because like I was just olive. kind of like, calm down, heifer. Like it's just barely an olive in your hair, and I tore that street pizza. Up. You did. I was like, like oh my god, this is the best pizza ever. But I hate. Olives. I'm glad they didn't Bill Cosby that shit. Well, Can I mean, I Bill saw Cosby them. It was like the they food? had just gotten the box, and I was yeah. like, oh my god. That's so good. Were they? No, because I thought they were older, and it was the boys at the crosswalk that I was. Yeah, maybe that was a bad night. <laughs> that was. We shall never talk of that again. All right, we'll leave it here on the podcast. Esther, I just want to know why. Mm. It's like I can drink the same amount of drinks you drink, but Ooh, yet mm-hmm. I am not I in the know. same condition you are. In. It's. It's the Asian alcoholism. Is <laughs> yes. that what we're gonna call it? It's the Asian metas- metabolism, metabolism and alcohol. Okay, because I'm not really sure what it, it just is. Rolls up. Because if I I'm had like, the Meh. same amount of drinks, like one minute Esther's always cool, calm, and collected, <laughs> and Rachel's floor. <laughs> just, I mean, one minute it's like ha 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 floor oh, done, oh ha ha floor. I don't know. I and then we're all like, we need an Uber. It's like the the Asian metabolism with alcohol is like mm. I don't know but I don't think I've ever seen you to the point where you've been me oh it's been a while challenge accepted uh-huh. <laughs> your birthday yeah yeah actually Ashley's birthday we gotta go to the stroke call see some titties <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think we have fulfilled the cards. I do. And what they've spoken to us. It's a little much. (laughs) Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Uh, I shouldn't say see you next time. That's stupid. I'm not going to see anybody. We don't know that. (laughs) <laughs> be like, be like, uh, we'll talk to you next time. I don't know. How do you sign this off? Let's see. Holla. Are you still recording? Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah. so how do we sign this off? We pull out one of these. We'll pull out we next. Oh, oh. Gandhi. We'll pull out next time. (laughs) (laughs) I like that. Because we got to pull out cards. Oh, you're right. (laughs) That's actually a really good one. Or we can focus on this. Poor life choices. We can totally do that one. I feel like that's a good one for next time. We can totally do that. Mm -hmm.